YouTube. Um, so I'm going to show you um, one of my waffle recipes. Um, I love waffles. Well, who doesn't? I like pancakes too. Um, I've got lots of different recipes, but depending on if you want a high carb or low carb waffle, um, I'm going to show you one that's got pretty a good amount of carbs and uh, protein in it. So let me show you how I'm going to make this one. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that waffle recipe um, it was delicious so at the gym um, I started off with shoulder press on the hammer strength machine um, so I did a warm-up uh, with 10 two 10 kilo plates per side uh, just warming up those shoulders Next, um, I went on to my working set. So for these, I did two 20 kilo plates per side. Um, this is pretty heavy for me. This is like my max at the moment. Um, I could probably get around, I think I got around six to eight reps um, per, per set on these ones. Um, yeah, they were definitely a good burn. <laughs> Next, I wanted to dumbbell shoulder press, so I did three sets of these. Um, I can't remember what weight I did, but I'm pretty sure I did, um, I think I did 16 kilos, 14 kilos, and maybe even finished with 12 kilos. So this is my second set of these. Um, yeah, just really make sure you keep your chest up and really squeezing through those shoulders. Try to come down to 90 degrees and come back up. Um, this was definitely um, a good little shoulder burn. Next, we went on to rear delts. Um, I really love this exercise and I really like doing it with this machine. So it's just a pack deck and you change the pins um, so you can hit your rear delts. Um, it's a good squeeze. 
Um, I do find going a little lighter with this one for me is a bit better because I really get in there and squeeze those shoulder blades together. Cool, um, after that I went to the cable, um, so we're doing a cable front raise. Um, I did go above um, shoulder sort of height for these, kind of aiming up for my head, so right overhead, trying to keep those arms as straight as you possibly can, and squeezing through those shoulders, um, because you're standing as well, you really gotta keep your core strong and try not to swing your body. Um, so these were fun. These are a cable side raise. Um, I actually usually do these in front of my body. Um, for these sets, we went behind. So it was, um, yeah, it was really good. Just a bit different way to tap into that shoulder. Um, again, for these, really try to keep your body still. Try not to swing. Keep your arm as straight as you can. Um, these are, I've, I've, well, really hard. I think that was only just doing the one plate, which I think was five kilos. It's not heavy, but um, it feels super heavy when you're doing them. Um, so I just use support of my, uh, my own body to hold on to. Um, you'll see in the next few sets, I've tried to sort of hold on um, to the machine somewhere. This one's a little bit weird. There's not really anywhere to really grab onto. Um, but yeah, just make sure when you do these that you try not to swing your body, abs nice and strong, squeeze that bottom, and really lengthening through that arm up into your shoulder. Cool, so this is my last set of these. Um, I think it's really good just when anytime you're lifting weights, um, you want to keep challenging yourself and keep pushing yourself. Um, you know, there's times when you want to do light weights and go for, you know, definitely high reps and go for more AV of a sort of lighter burn. Um, but when you're trying to lift heavy weights, definitely keep track of kind of where you're at so you're always progressing and you're always going heavier. Um, that'll just really help your progress. So make sure you've got a plan. Um, a lot of the time, even before I go to the gym, I definitely kind of either write down what I want to do or at least have it in my head so I've got a plan of attack so you don't find yourself just wandering around the gym kind of aimlessly. So make sure when you go, you've got a plan, you know what you're doing, um, and that'll definitely make your workouts more enjoyable so you're not feeling, um, yeah, lost or, you know, like you're not, um, you don't know what to do. Alright, finish off my shoulder workout. Um, I then went on to do um, 20 minutes on the treadmill. So I did uh, sprints, so 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. Um, I think I was on around 15 for my sprint. Um, so yeah, it was a really good job. I hope you enjoyed the workout. Thanks, bye. Ooh, look at that nicely cut up watermelon. Did we get any watermelon? Let's grab some. Oh, I've got my thing on. Do you want to get a little basket and I'll go get some Asahi? Oh god, I can't hold everything. Alright, we just finished our workout. We're at the grocery store. I'm going to see if they have any Asahi pocket packets. Oh, they do. 
come to mama after workout delight I want the unsweetened ones where does it say smoothie original brand unsweetened yeah they do I'm just aha uh -huh. oh they tried to trick me And the workout continues. You gonna give me some shoulder shoulder flies, Steve? Shoulder flies. Ooh, there you go. Ooh. All right, here's our after workout Asahi bolts, homemade. So I used two Asahi packets, um, some frozen berries, um, frozen bananas, some coconut water, a scoop of protein for each of us, and some glutamine. Enjoy. Here's yours.